started to realize that um, we really wanted to use business as a tool for change. Part of the college experience is having big dreams. Vanderbilt students Will Keenan and Henry Manise turned their dream of creating a company to help and empower the people of Uganda into an amazing reality while they were just starting off at Vanderbilt. And the first semester at Vanderbilt we had been going down this political advocacy track and um, spreading a lot of, of awareness about a conflict in northern Uganda involving child soldiers. Inspired to help, the two human and organizational development majors wrote a business plan for a website that would sell clothes and other high-quality goods created by artisans in Uganda. With the help of a Vanderbilt alum who interned in Uganda, these young men jumped on a plane to turn their dream for social change through business into Injuba. Basically, Will and I were, we were in Will's dorm room, Vandy Barnard, going through a Lugandan English dictionary and, you know, just pretty much going through the whole thing and came across Njuba, which meant the sun. And so we checked to see if Njuba.com was available, and it was. And guess what? Oh, it's available. <laughs> <laughs> the name Njuba immediately touched the artisans in Uganda. Because it has a big meaning in it, you know. The sun. The sun is one of the most powerful things that we know. All of these people were part of Njuba, and you know, the word meant something by itself, but I think when our artisans were talking about it, they were recognizing part of the team. Henry and Will traveled the country in search of quality artists to build their close-knit Njuba team. We witnessed like incredible just generosity on all of the artists and families taking us in, whether we're sharing tea with them or kind of staying there and, until, you know, we Sometimes stay. we'd be there at midnight, one, two in the morning, just telling stories and also trying to design products with some of the artisans and stuff. The unique business relationship Will and Henry were creating was having a powerful impact on the Ugandan artists. They like open up people's minds and open their eyes and, and show them there is a much bigger world than, than they, they probably thought it was. Then Henry and Will had to create the business side of Njuba, including sales, marketing, accounting, web technology, and management of people who had never really been a part of a group business setting. So I guess it was just kind of the, uh, we're not exactly sure how to do it, we have a problem, how can we solve it, and let's just do it. We kind of had it, given that we're both HRD students, in our minds, you know, kind of what does progressive leadership look like and how can we actually engage this team. Well, apart from just doing business with you and the part, they care about you, you know. Will and Henry also had the dual job of business owners and college students. It was pretty neat to have, uh, I remember some of our professors would say things in class about uh, the best kind of leadership or problems that might arise with trying to pull together a team and then these light bulbs would go off and be like, oh, we just dealt with that yesterday. And, and my, my dorm room became our, um, kind of our warehouse um, where we were storing just, in the first year I had to put this large sheet over my closet because we were stocking skirts to bracelets to necklaces to pretty much all of our products in our dorm room. It brought a lot more life and excitement to the classroom for us. And Will and Henry did far more than sell the artisans' products. <laughs> Part of what we tried to really put at the forefront of Injuba was this relationship dynamic and also this intentionality or this thoughtfulness. They launched an entrepreneurship class for the often struggling young people in Uganda. They also developed savings, investment, and microcredit programs for the artisans. Henry set up a system where for each product a certain portion was going directly into their savings um, and they could kind of watch that grow and we, were, we had developed for the future a small matching program for money that they were saving. So yeah, I think the, the brand wouldn't have come together the way it did unless the artisans started to recognize that this business was investing back in them. Injuba was proving to be a success on both continents, but the students realized for the company to have true value, the artisans needed to own it themselves. That's when Henry and Will made the bold decision to give Injuba to the Ugandans. And so we just started to realize that even as the company grew, the, the impact on a given artisan wasn't going to be any better. Um, and, you know, perhaps by 
getting a lot larger, a lot of the sort of culture that we had created might be lost. And so we figured if they owned the company, uh, it could be more sustainable in the long run and they would learn as much as, as we were. Henry and Will now have an advisory role in Injuba, which sells only within Uganda instead of online. Definitely our first child, but <laughs> the thing is, I think it was just overall more empowering than anything. I mean, just to have had that experience and that depth of experience. Serious impact that is touchable, like tangible impact in the communities where even after 10 years, we can come back and see the legacy that was established by Enjuba, something that has been done. Somebody can testify that I am a product of Enjuba.